Babasar Gumri. I am studying in 9th standard from Motilal Kotari Vidyalaya Kada. Today I am going to explain the concept of acceleration under the guidance of Madhesar. You should know what is meant by acceleration. The rate of change of velocity is called as acceleration. We can also define acceleration as the change in velocity per unit time is called as acceleration. So, acceleration is given by change in velocity upon time taken for change. Acceleration is related to velocity. Hence, acceleration is vector quantity. That is, acceleration have both magnitude as well as direction. Acceleration is denoted by symbol small a. Suppose object moves with initial velocity u. After time t, it attains the final velocity v. Then acceleration is given by changing velocity upon time. Now, changing velocity is the difference between final velocity and initial velocity. That is, changing velocity equal final velocity minus initial velocity. So, acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity upon time. Therefore, a is equal to v minus u upon t. Here, a means acceleration of an object, v means final velocity of an object, u means initial velocity of an object and t means time taken for change in velocity. Since acceleration is the change in velocity divided by time, therefore, the SI unit of acceleration is meter per second square, whereas the CGS unit is centimeter per second square. Acceleration may be positive, negative or zero. So, let us study the positive, negative and zero acceleration one by one. First, positive acceleration. When velocity of body increases with time, then acceleration is called as positive acceleration. For example, first, motion of vehicle on descending path. Second, motion of ball falling freely under gravity. Here, in above examples, velocity increases with time. Then, negative acceleration. When velocity of body decreases with time, then acceleration is called as negative acceleration. For example, first, motion of vehicle on ascending path. Second, ball is thrown vertically upwards, moves with negative acceleration as the velocity decreases with time. Note that negative acceleration is also called as deacceleration or retardation. Then, zero acceleration. When object is at rest or moving with uniform velocity, then acceleration is called as zero acceleration. For example, motion of train with uniform velocity. Here, train is moving with uniform velocity. Its acceleration will be zero because the changing velocity of train is also zero. Now, let us understand the two types of acceleration possessed by most of the bodies. First, uniform acceleration. If there are equal changes in velocity of body in equal time interval, then acceleration is called as uniform acceleration. In other words, body has uniform acceleration if its velocity changes at uniform rate. So, uniform acceleration is given by equal changes in velocity upon equal time interval. Note that the velocity time graph for body having uniform acceleration is in a straight line. Then second, non-uniform acceleration. If there are unequal changes in velocity of body in equal time interval, then acceleration is called as non-uniform acceleration. In other words, body has non-uniform acceleration if its velocity changes at non-uniform rate. So non-uniform acceleration is equal to unequal changes in velocity upon equal time interval. Note that the velocity time graph for body having non-uniform acceleration is non-linear that is curve line. I hope that you have learned the concept of acceleration. So let's go quick check.